Hey, thanks for joining me today, guys. I'm going to be tying a beaded woolly bugger. Uh, this is a very common fly, uh, and we're going to want to make sure that we have a, a long shank hook like this. Uh, we, we don't want a short shank hook. Uh, we need some extra room to be able to tie in the material. So start with the long shank hook, put a bead head on the, on the front. Um, that's, a I think, a 532nd size bead head or 4 millimeter, depending on what measurement you're using. Okay, we want to start by wrapping our thread all the way to the back of the, the hook right, right before the bend. Okay, just like so. And we're going to take a piece of marabou. And we'll measure out our marabou. Um, I like to tie these in a little long. Um, however, just keep in mind that when you do tie in a longer, longer tail, it is a possibility of it kind of, you know, fouling up like so when you cast and um, it'll, it'll wrap around get caught under under the hook just like that so uh, keep that in mind you'll you will with a longer longer tail you will have to mess with that a little bit while you're fishing but it does give more movement and I think uh, the fish like it a little more so we've got that measured out I'm gonna I cut off the excess and I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap some of that in okay Alright, next we're going to take two pieces of crystal flash, we're going to double it up on itself, cut it, and then double it up again, so that means that these two pieces turn into quite a few. We don't need, you know, such a long piece, so um, we turn those into, a, you know, a couple pieces. We want to tie it in to where it's uh, just about the same length as our, um, our uh, marabou. Okay, so we tie in one side and wrap it around and go ahead and tie it in on the other side of the marabou. And then we can just cut that off. Next, we're going to tie in a piece of chenille. You want the bugger chenille, the larger size chenille. And we want to wrap all the way up to the bead head. And we can start wrapping in our chenille. Once you get to the bead head, go ahead and capture that and get it, get it cut off. Make a few wraps. If you've got some of the fibers of the chenille up on the, the bead head, go ahead and pull those back and then wrap them down. All right, and then we're going to take a piece of hackle. Now, uh, with the hackle, uh, you don't need your dry fly hackle. Uh, it's just not necessary. You don't want to spend the money on that. Just go ahead and, you know, use a cheaper uh, saddle hackle. Um, and you can see, that's what I have here. Um, we don't need the whole thing. We don't need the fuzzy end here. Um, we're just going to measure out to see what length we want. Um, so we stick the, the rib right in... Uh, in the center of the where the hook is and see where we want to start this um, that's about right for me okay so then we start pulling back the fibers a bit clip and then we can take just one side and just start with pulling back the fibers on just one side and then we can tie that in once you do you want to just wrap back to um, the bend of the hook again. You want to take your, if you have them, hackle pliers, and you want to start wrapping. So, okay, I'm just going to want to wrap the other direction. So, usually, hackle wants to wrap whatever direction it wants to wrap, and this one is kind of getting funky on me today, but there we go. Okay, we've got it kind of flaring out a bit. It's always tricky to start it. Okay, and you can go ahead and just start wrapping backwards all the way to where your thread is. Okay, and then tie that in. Okay, 
Okay. And then we want to kind of jiggle our uh, thread back and forth to make sure it goes in between the, the fibers of the hackle. Okay. All the way till we get to the bead head. And kind of pull some of these fibers back to make sure you're not wrapping them forward. Do a couple wraps. Go ahead and whip finish. I like to double whip finish these flies whenever I'm tying woolly buggers. Um, really make sure that they stay on. Okay, and then if you've got any stray hairs that are sticking forward, go ahead and clip those off. Then I'm going to take a dot of super glue, and I'm going to go ahead and just put a little dot on the front. And that's it. It's a pretty simple fly. It doesn't take a lot of material. Just hackle, chenille, um, uh, marabou and uh, some type of flash material. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe by clicking right here. Thank you.